Hello, beach friends. Today we're going to be exploring one of my favorite beaches, Fort Myers Beach. I'll be walking from the south end of the island all the way up to those piers. And along the way, we are definitely going to be finding seashells. Now, I wanted to come back to Fort Myers Beach because red tide had been so nasty not all that long ago. And I was curious if it was gonna leave a lot of stuff on the beach. And there was a ton of stuff, a bunch of things I was hoping to see, a couple of things I was surprised to see. And I'm gonna find my most favorite Florida fighting conch. So today we'll be beachcombing, looking for critters and shells and whatever else we might find. And you know, I like to get out there early. So if you're ready to see what's out there for us today, let's go to the beach. So right here, we are all the way at the south end of Fort Myers Beach. Um, typically, this would be all really kind of smooth, but the hurricane trashed it a little bit. And luckily, it's a little bit dark out, so we really can't see that. And since it is so dark out, I'm having a hard time filming. Like, I just got there so early. So I did pick up that True Tulip, that Apple Murex, this Angel Wing, and this pair walk and so quickly just kind of go through those couple things i'd like you to actually be able to see what i'm picking out let's see if we can kind of see this urchin so this is a short spine sea urchin that has expired but it's test that's the body kind of like that part is left and so i'm going to clean that up i'm going to bring that home and clean it up now i did mention i was here early it is 7:23 in the morning and i'm here because low tide is going to be at 7:50. now low tide is only for so long so i want to kind of play my timing right and spend enough time where i'm actually seeing fantastic things like this banded tulip but i do want to make it pretty far up the beach. So I'm going to not dilly dally too much in any particular place. We're gonna kind of keep it moving. Look, and Fort Myers Beach means rose petal talons. So that is a rose petal talon. Thank you viewer who suggested I should have a whole little container of them because that is exactly what I'm going to do. Here we have the little shorebirds, the ruddy turnstones, probably some of those willets here is a lettered olive and today the lettered olives are shiny and pointy and so pretty so that's one of many beautiful letter olives we're gonna find now the beach changes as we walk i talked about you know we're definitely gonna keep it moving at this part of the beach there's a lot of ground up stuff and in retrospect i could have spent a minute maybe looking for wental traps but i didn't and so we're just gonna push on keep moving up the beach see what else is waiting there for us to discover like this moon snail now the colorful moon snails i <laughs> didn't know there's quite a few of them there's actually also a florida moon snail and it's got a little bit different coloration i know that this is a gaudinautica and or that colorful moon snail but there's also a florida moon snail hmm interesting right and this is a nutmeg and it is broken so you can kind of see more of that twirly insides which is just kind of fun kind of neat <gasps> and this is what i'm talking about this is why i wanted to come here wait but first i see a limpet okay so here <laughs> here's a little broke it's broken it's a cayenne limpet but just wanted to see that all right let's get back to this lightning whelk this is the kind of shells i really was kind of hoping to find this awesome lightning whelk i'm shocked that the whole shell was there most of the time you're gonna find that top piece and you know you never know so check it out super duper happy look at that awesome rather slippery lightning whelk Woo -hoo. oh another another favorite of mine the spiny jewel box and bonus it's hinged i got both pieces of that awesome spiny jewel box fantastic oh hi there crown conch oh man you're pretty wow beautiful color i know it's a little muted but oh that's beautiful so that is a crown conch 
awesome. All right, let's look how lettery this olive is. Oh, it's beautiful. Super dark and shiny and glossy and oh, just love them. And a moon snail. So this is also a moon snail. It's also a false shark eyes. So we have shark eyes and we have false shark eyes. Um, I've talked about that in the past. In the future, I'll talk about it again. Woo! Look at all the moon snails. That almost never happens. I should say never because it has happened before where I did find a whole bunch of those moon snails, which is awesome. Love, love, love them. Okay, guess what we have here? This is a rose petal talon. Why is it white? I know, right? But they do come in that variety. So the rose petal talons will be pink and they'll also be white. So don't let that trip you up. This easy, pink. It's a rose petal talon, but sometimes they can be white. They're so pretty. Love them. In Fort Myers Beach, I'm telling you, they're always here, the rose petal talons. All right, this I'm just establishing where I am. So I'm pretty close to where the water's at. And they kind of got this like mushy area with these little shells. For you guys who like to play that, where's Waldo? I think that's a fly speck serif for those of you who think that's a wental trap. That is a sharp ribbed drill. Awesome. Oh, and a little Jasper cone. Awesome. So I do periodically like slowing down to check out those tinies another crown conch i know it looks all muddy i can see right through that i know that that is going to be an awesome shell only because basically i can see the color on the other sides too so you can you know there's some tells there oh here's another one doesn't look like much does it gonna clean up though I know it's gonna clean up just great so <laughs> here's another lump of mud that I swear is gonna be real pretty it's gonna be another real nice looking crown conch here's a lightning whelk fantastic and you know look some beach combing you can get a little dirty I get dirt under my nails I get all sandy it's not for the feet here's another crown conch Oh yeah, oh yeah, I can definitely see color on that. And look at how like uh, twirly those crowns are. They kind of like turn in those spikes. Oh, neat. So I'm not really able to remove too much mud. And frankly, I don't want to get all cut up. So, you know, I'll remove a little bit, but I really want to take care of that cleaning once I actually get home. Here's another, oh yeah. And it's funny how they're all different, right? Some of them have those two rows of spikes. Some have a little bit of color, a little bit less color. They clean up so great. They're really, they're fun to clean. The crown conch. Look at that gorgeous shell. And another. So in this particular part of the beach, there's angel wings and there's crown conchs. And they just love this mud. Now, I'm going to be able to access it because the tide is low. If it were higher tide, this is all going to be covered with water. So you really can only kind of get to this spot when the tide is a little bit lower. Yeah. Another crown conch. So, yeah, so I'll spend a minute or two here, just, you know, all the ones I can kind of see. I'll grab them, try to get some of the mud out, and then keep it moving. Now, I'm wearing a coat, so it was a little bit on the cooler side, 50 degrees to be exact. So, for me, that's downright freezing, but it ain't going to keep me off the beach. Oh, and check this one out. It's, like, almost white. So, I'm going to pull this one out, too. And I'm kind of looking for that color. Wouldn't that be neat to find an albino um, crown conch? I love finding the weirdos, finding different shells. As it turns out, I don't think this is albino, but it was just kind of neat, just something else to kind of think about. Like, hmm, wonder if that could be an albino, but there was like a little bit of color on it and I did kind of clean it up and it was not albino, but still a really cool find. So moving north again, I want to get to those piers. And I wanted to kind of try to take advantage of low tide at the same time, so. 
Hello, short spine sea urchin. So that sea urchin at the very beginning of the video that we picked up, that's one of these critters. This one happens to be alive and well. You can see its little spines moving around. Terrific. And the urchins down here in Southwest Florida are not dangerous or poisonous, unlike some of the other urchins. I have been stung by an urchin in Jamaica and that was no joke, man. That hurts. But the ones down here are super nice. You can just say hi to them and <laughs> they won't, you know, won't leave a lasting negative impression. So here is a banded tulip. Oh, fantastic. And at Fort Myers Beach, typically I find the live ones, not so much the ones you can collect. So that was super fun. Oh, so this is a juvenile fighting conch that is just spectacular with all its little zigzags and patterns and Oh man, that's cool. Little tiny fighting cock. Shiny olive. Still looking for my albino. One of these days. A sun ray Venus clam. That's very sun ray -y. Awesome. Yep, it was a great olive day. They were all like big, shiny, beautiful specimens it was awesome the olives were bringing it it was fantastic another juvenile kind you know adolescent fighting conch oh again with the colors on that aperture and the zigzags oh <laughs> so i'm having myself a great time what another crown conch hey wow the spikes are awesome on that one so yet again another really nice looking crown conch awesome and a banded tulip can you really have enough banded tulips maybe but that's okay can't help myself i do like a good gastropod oh there's what else is here now i wouldn't say so many there's a couple little chunks here let's see fighting conchs yeah oh neato so this one is knobless doesn't have those protruding knobs on it so that's kind of cool and then this one does have the knobs so right there there and these up there those are all knobs so when you look at the fighting conch you know it has its knobs on it and then it, now and then you'll find one that doesn't have those knobs wow that one's like almost glowing it's got its knobs oh there's i thought i saw a little etch mark on it eh. so am i gonna keep it yeah <laughs> probably okay here we have a trap door so this is going to belong to either a lightning whelk or a horse conch and that is called the operculum and so that's a little trap door that kind of helps that critter keep its water trapped inside its shell. It also protects it from its, if someone's going to try to hunt it down, well, it just kind of retreats inside its shell. There's a little cone. What is that? What are you? Are you a Florida cone? A big dusty cone? Not... Oh, you are a nutmeg. Oh, you're a little, uh, you look like you need to go into the bleach for sure. Man, it would be nice if I had just a little washing machine for the shells and come home, stick them in the washing machine. That would be pretty cool. Auger, very nice. Awesome pointy little shell. I'm checking it really good just to make sure there's no little hermit crabs in it because when you're collecting in the water, you gotta be careful. Critters do like to climb in there. That is a tinted cantharus. Love that shell. Yeah, a couple of goodies down here. Fantastic some angel wings and you know what's so funny when, with the angel wings is typically you know you'll find a whole bunch of the same side like a whole bunch of left sides look at this i'm finding one of each here lucky so a couple of lucky angel wings oh now this was a fun shell so this is a true tulip and that bright orange color i've seen that on horse conchs on the uh, tinted cantharus shells sometimes a, a chestnut turban so sometimes other other shells will be that bright red color uh, rose murex so a couple of them have that like really rich bright orange color this happens to be a true tulip 
Super fun. Super fun little bright shell. All right, another cone. This is a Florida cone with its aperture a little chipped up because that's just kind of how those shells roll. Ooh, and a lace murex. Sorry, I said that pretty quick. I'm going to try to be a little slower, let you guys guess. So that is a lace murex. Really nice. It's not like super lacy. It's just a really solid lace murex. Oh, high spiky shell. So yeah, any of those super spiky shells really call to me. That is obviously a spiny jewel box with some decent spikes on it. A yellow prickly cockle. And it's hinged. Bonus. Have I ever found? Yeah, probably at some point, but a little unusual. I don't usually find those prickly cockles, the yellow ones hinged. Lovely lightning whelk. Fantastic. Great color. Lovely. Ooh. Oh, wow. Look how lacy this. So this is a uh, apple murex. So these and the lace murex are kind of like cousins. And this one happens to almost have like a laciness to it. Beautiful. Now, speaking of beautiful, I'm having so much fun. It really is pretty out. So I'm going to be quiet and allow you to have some beach time. Okay, I've been busy picking up a couple of angel wings. We have both left and rights, not equally, of course, but a whole bunch of fabulous angel wings. And another fabulous, so it's a little on the tiny side. Oh, hi, tiny, you know what? So it's a juvenile spiny jewel box. And I do notice that they tend to like glue themselves to other things. I wonder if that's just one of the things that those shells, um, animals do, the snails do. Actually, that's not a snail. That would be a bivalve. It has two pieces to it. So that's going to be a bivalve versus a gastropod. It's just cool and spiky. We'll just leave it at that. That's also a bivalve. This is a rough scallop. Gorgeous rough scallop. Yep. If I had only found that in like three other shells, I would have been happy. But man, the beach coming today is fantastic. So that is another one of those operculums that we found earlier. Some of them, you know, you find sometimes they can get beat up. They kind of look like wood. So you can preserve them. They can be kind of neat. All right, I'm making my way to those piers that I want to get to. This is Leonardo Arms and man, that beat that uh, building took a beating. We have some olives and another rose petal talon. Beautiful. Can't help myself. We got another shiny amp. Yeah, can't help myself. <laughs> awesome. So, yep, here's Leonardo Arms. We had looked at this early. I'd come this far in the past, and it looks like at least they've, you know, hammered in some sort of protection. And I'm standing here, and I'm just marveling because this is not what it used to look like. This used to look very, very different. Okay, so I'm going to go a little bit further. Um, since Hurricane Ian came, I have not been up to the pier, which is where I'm kind of heading toward. And I keep getting distracted. Look at how fat. Oh, my gosh, that's beautiful. Fat, awesome lettered olive. And a sand dollar. Beautiful sand dollar and a big, fat olive. Awesome. Oh, and a hinged giant Atlantic cockle with some really great color. Beautiful. I also call those beach bowls. Here's a prickly cockle. And it's kind of light. It doesn't have that really rich, dark purple colors. And so the top is also a little bit light. I wonder if those are albinistic. Maybe. Maybe. Right, there's the pier. And actually, I was really surprised that the pier survived. I didn't think it was going to. I kind of looked on Google Maps trying to check things out and I didn't see it, but I'm happy to see that it is really here. 
I thought for sure that was going to be alive, but it's not. Look at that. That's a pretty spectacular banded tulip, if I do say so myself. Really pretty. Awesome. Hi, Pierre. Well, I'm glad you're here. Um, this area definitely looks different to me. Um, I used to spend a lot of time here, and this is what it used to look like. That particular tree is gone. It's one of my favorite trees that was there. And then this area had mangroves, and you could hang your seashells on the branches. So obviously, this is before Hurricane Ian, and this is what it looks like now. And so it's just going to have to grow back just like everything else. Rebuild, regrow, it'll come back. But I'll take the little win. I mean, the pier is still here. So that is kind of cool. And I love the pier because the birds love it too. And it just kind of encourages wildlife. You'll see the dolphins here, like, you know, kind of searching for fish around the pier. So at least the pier is still here. And, you know, things will regrow. They'll come back. It's not gonna be the same for sure, but It'll still look, the beach is still amazing and you can still come and enjoy it. And this slipper snail, finally again, ding, ding, ding. It, it kind of looks like a slipper, doesn't it? Or at least that one finally does. So now at least I'm connecting that. It looks like a, it's called a slipper shell because it looks like a slipper. That's a piece of coral. And so that used to be an animal, wild, right? So coral is a living animal and that's what's left when it dies and breaks off and washes ashore so that is another one of those prickly cockles but it is not albinistic it's got that rich color on the inside oh it's super prickly huh so lovely prickly cockle that is also prickly and guess what that is one of those urchins that i can safely handle it will not sting me and give me misery for a couple of hours so this is just like that other critter we picked up earlier. It is alive and well. Its coloring is a little different though, right? Instead of being purple, it's got a little bit of that green coloring to it. There you go, buddy. Man, I'm, that surf clam is a little extra, but hey, you know, you do you. <laughs> cool little urchin. Oh, hi, calico scallop. I haven't picked up too many scallops today, have I? So that is one of the calico scallops. Awesome and an egg casing. Now this is from a pear whelk. The pear whelk egg casings are a little about the size of a dime. The lightning whelks are more like the size of a quarter. These do have little eggs in them. So I'm looking and it's also still hydrated. So there is still, and it normally it would be buried by that little end there. So I, I don't know if it's viable. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know, but I'm gonna try to leave it in the water. So hopefully, more shells can hatch. Guess what? Are you kidding me? I found my first Atlantic wing oyster up at Honeymoon Island. Look at that. I've never found one here in Fort Myers Beach. Whoa, or at least that I know of. Wow, that's so cool. Why is it here? I've never found one before. So it will sometimes have the periostracum on it, that brown layer but that's been rubbed off and all you're really seeing is kind of that iridescent layer. Isn't that beautiful? So that's an Atlantic wing oyster. Super fun to add another one of those to my collection. Cool. And I know this isn't terribly exciting, but I don't typically find a lot of wood on the beach that's really, that I can bring home. Usually it's kind of mushy. So I did, I found a piece of wood and I'm gonna bring that home too. And this is a coquina very important food source for other critters down here and i just like finding those slippery shells <laughs> prickly cockle yeah so that's gonna be like your typical prickly cockle it's got a little bit of that yellow on it it's all prickly a prickly cockle okay this is a jingle it comes in all different colors orange happens to be one of them they'll be yellow and black and gray but that's a jingle and that is a turkey wing. Looks like it's had to, I don't know, not repair itself. Maybe had a couple growth spurts. Kind of neat. Either way, that is a turkey wing. Whoa, I don't know. Do you think that those maybe, like I've never found a hinged angel wing. I don't actually know. Maybe it's connective tissue. I don't know, but maybe that's a pair. Still kind of cool. Beautiful pair of angel wings. 
Hey, like my good weirdo shells. So you'll see this looks just like a prickly cockle because it is, but it's albino. So that is an albino prickly cockle. Super fun, not very rare per se. I tend to find them uh, regularly. Look at the size of that angel wing. Oh man, that's cool. So finding those big angel wings that's a little bit on the hard side for me. The smaller ones you can get. Whoa, and I spied something else. That's a horse conch. So I'm gonna have to kind of contort and <laughs> kind of like crawl in there and I can't really shoot it great. So I did crawl under there and I did get that awesome horse conch. Totally worth it. It's not quite a pony, right? Oh, what a great size though. I love them. So that is our Florida State shell, the horse cock. And sometimes they'll come across something so beautiful, it just speaks for itself. Another rose petal talon. Now this one's a little wonky because look, it's like bendy. Yeah, so something happened to the critter and its shell is a little bit bent. So we got ourselves a little bit of a bendy rose petal talon. Whoa, okay, so this is a quahog. I definitely know it's a quahog, but what's weird is there's so much purple and I thought that those were the northern quahogs. Is that a northern quahog? So I was reading about it. And as it turns out, some of the populations down here, we can have northern and southern quahogs. So I think that that might be a northern quahog. This is my most favorite fighting conch I've ever found. It is spectacular. So I thought it was albino, which it's not clearly because it has a little bit of that orange and that purple on it. But man, underneath, it's kind of like that white color. And I'm so excited to go clean that up. You'll, I will show you at the end of the video. I will show you what that shell looks like. And actually, if you've seen my collection video, I've already shown you. And this beautiful fighting conch is also going to kind of have to come home with me. Another fighting conch. Oh, another moon snail. All right, so the color for moon snail, I had mentioned earlier, there's also that Florida moon snail and the coloring is way different. And again, I just figured this out. A lot of times if the shells aren't in my shell book, I don't know they exist. So hopefully I can teach myself, maybe learn a little bit more about that. And I love when the shells just kind of roll into your hand. So that is a moon snail, a false shark eye, Got a little bit of blue in that. Unfortunately, it's also blurry, but that's okay. Just wanted to show you how fun it is to kind of roll into your hand. Another hinged spiny jewel box. Weird. I don't normally find this many on Fort Myers Beach. Really weird. So I'm really lucky. I do have a parking spot uh, saved for me on the south end of the island, but you can come here too if you take the trolley. Now there's a website, you can go over there. There will be a map that looks like this and you'll be able to go to Bay Beach Lane and get off and access the beach. Now I will admit, I don't know what that looks like, that Bay Beach Lane access. If anybody else does, if you you wouldn't mind leaving a comment below. I will check it out, but not in time to leave the information for this video. So I hope that helps a little and maybe you can get yourself down here as well. All right, here we have another awesome banded tulip, collectible, beautiful. Yeah, I do like those gastropods. The apple murex is also a gastropod. Oh, and this one's nice. It's got some nice texture to it. Nice size, nice color. A beautiful apple murex. And another talon. I know you might be thinking, what? Is that another one of those white rose petal talons? Mm, I don't think so. I think it's a little bit too big for that. So I think this is an alternate talon and kind of fun because it's hinged. So there's quite a few talons. There's a Tampa talon. There's a Texas talon, the rose petal talon. This is an alternate talon. I'm telling you, there's so many of these shells. <laughs> 
So at this point, I'm looking to kind of get off the island. Not that I want to leave per se, but we'll probably move away from the water and it'll just be up in this dry rack line. Just in case, hey, you never know. There's going to be more stuff as I'm making my way back to the car. I never stop looking at what's on the beach. Look, awesome pair whelk. Another angel wing. And it, is it whole? Why, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Awesome. So, yep. I, yeah, it's a little chipped on the end. That is okay. Whoa, very dry. Oh dear, yeah. That is a banded tulip. I am not gonna mess around with that. That I'm actually gonna leave here. But I will take that pear whelk and that lovely angel wing. And so this is a point where I go, oh man, I don't wanna leave, but, you know, life goes on and I do have to go home and go to work and go to meetings and all that other stuff that is nowhere near as fun as coming to the beach and making these videos for you. Now, one last shell before we go. Someone recently actually sent me a picture of one of these and asked if it was an albino moon snail. And it sure does look like one, doesn't it? But it is a land snail. That is a Cuban brown snail. So that is not a sea snail that comes from the land. Kind of still kind of cool by all means, you know, pick it up and collect it. But unfortunately it is not an albino moon snail. Womp womp. So yes, go FMB, go Fort Myers Beach, be strong. I'm gonna help you by removing a little bit of garbage. So when I was removing all those shells, I also took 1.46 pounds of garbage off the beach. And since I've been keeping track, I've removed over 31 pounds of garbage. In addition to a couple of beautiful beach treasures like those rose petal talons, that giant Atlantic cockle, the operculum, the Florida fighting conchs, do you see a buttercup lucene up there, the prickly cockles, the yellow, the albino, the regular old prickly cockle, a couple of those scallops, got some moon snails, the crown conchs were awesome, did get a couple of apple murex, a couple of the um, broad rib carditas, a bunch of, that is not all the angel wings I found, but some of them. I got some crab carapaces, a sand dollar, that urchin, the um, hinge spiny jewel boxes, and then the, the tinies, a sharp rib drill, that little true tulip, oh man, just the Atlantic wing oyster, the olives were amazing, like I just, oh that horse conch, I mean it just was so much fun. I'm really glad that I chose to go to this beach on this day. Now, quickly before we part ways, will you look at that fighting conch? Now it has a, like a little bit of color and it's shiny. It's not truly albino, but still it's almost, it is so pretty. So this is currently my favorite fighting conch right now. Who knows? We'll see what my next favorite conch looks like, but I can't wait. Can't wait to get back out there and see what else is out there. Patreons, thank you. Doesn't seem like enough, but truly from the bottom of my heart, thank you for coming along these amazing adventures and monetarily supporting me, so thank you. Now, speaking of amazing adventures, next week we're going on a kayaking tour. We're gonna see, mo oh, it's gonna be so beautiful. We're gonna find great beach treasures. So until then, I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you again next Sunday.